welcome to the special Father's Day edition of our Sunday School. Today I have my dad with me, who I love so much. I am super lucky because my dad is also my pastor. It's the best, let me tell you. Today we have an activity we're gonna do with some balloons. We're gonna try and see if we can keep these balloons in the air uh, for 60 seconds, but it is a little windy, so hopefully they don't all fly away. We'll see, are you ready? Ready, set, go. <laughs> Welcome to song time. This week we have my dad with us and we're going to sing one of his favorite PBS songs, the OO song. Are you ready? Love, love, I love you Lord forever. Love, love, I love you Lord forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Oh, 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 I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll, I'll do, do my best for you. Now serve. Serve, serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. Serve, serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Oh, 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 I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Now praise. Praise, praise. I'll praise you, Lord, forever. Praise, praise. I'll praise you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Oh, 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 I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. That was some good singing. The next song we're going to sing is River of Life. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Opens prison doors, sets a captive's free. Hey, I've got a river of life flowing out of me. String up a well, splish splash within my soul. String up a well, splish splash and make me whole. String up a well, splish splash and give to me that life abundantly. Good singing. The last song before our lesson is going to be As the Deer. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You alone are my strength, my shield, to you alone. My spirit knew. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Great singing. Let's get ready for our lesson. Welcome to our lesson time this week. We are going to hear another great story from God's Word, the Bible. And today we're going to keep learning about Joseph, who we've been learning about. Remember, he was the one with the colorful coat who was his dad's favorite. And then his brother sold him and he went to Egypt and he did what was right. And God was with him in Egypt. And last we heard, Joseph was thrown into prison for something that he did not do. Well, in the prison, guess what? Again, God was with him. And God was with him in the prison, and he, the captain of the prison, the guy who was in charge of keep, keeping watch over the prisoners, 
um, put Joseph in charge again. So he was in charge over the other prisoners and over everything that was going on in the prison. And um, in the prison, there were two guys that made Pharaoh mad. They were both on Pharaoh's like staff. He had people waiting on him. And the two guys were the butler and the baker. And they got put in prison because they made Pharaoh upset about something. Well, they were in that prison and they were under Joseph. They were in the same place that he was. And they went to sleep. And then when they woke up, they had a dream. And in those days, God spoke to people through dreams. But the butler and the baker had a problem. They could not interpret their dreams. They did not know what it meant. Well, I'm going to let you know what they dreamed. Because God is going to give wisdom and God is going to be the one to interpret these dreams. But he's going to use Joseph. Well, in Genesis chapter 40, the butler said to Joseph, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me. And a vine is what grows grapes. And in the vine were three branches, and it was thought it budded, and at her blossom shot forth the clusters thereof of ripe grapes. So he had a dream that there were three branches of vines, and the branches were growing ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup to Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said to him, this is the interpretation of it. The interpretation means this is what it means, because it doesn't mean that the butler is just going to find these three ripe grapes and squeeze the cup. It means something different. It symbolizes something. And there are a lot of times in the Bibles that there are symbols for other things. There are a lot of things that you can think about that are also symbols, like one of them is a cross. It stands for what Jesus did for us. Another thing is sometimes um, in the Bible, the Holy Spirit is symbolized as a dove, and the dove also represents peace. Well, Joseph is going to tell the interpretation. That means he's going to tell the butler what the dream meant. Joseph said to him, Three branches are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place, and thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand after the former manner when thou wast his butler. So the, his dream meant that in three days, Pharaoh was going to take him out of the prison and that he was going to get his job back and that he wasn't going to be in jail anymore. This was great news for the butler. He was probably really excited. But we're going to hear about the other man's dream. That wasn't so good. And he was the baker. And Joseph told the butler, he said, Remember me when you go back to Pharaoh's house because this is what's going to happen. God told me what your dream was. And when you go back to Pharaoh, tell him Joseph is here. And... When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, so when the baker saw that Joseph interpreted the butler's dream, he said, oh, it's my turn. Let me tell you my dream. And he said, behold, I had three white baskets on my head, and in the uppermost basket there was all manner of baked meats for Pharaoh, and the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. He said, I had a dream that I was carrying three baskets, and there were all kinds of baked goodies in the top. But the birds ate all of the goodies. Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days. So just like the butler had the dream about the three days, the baker also had a dream about the three days. So this is what's going to happen. He said, um, In three days, you're not going to be anymore. Pharaoh's going to remember me and you're going to get an even bigger trouble for whatever you did in Pharaoh's house. And you're not going to be in prison anymore. You're going to die. That's what he said. 
The baker was probably really worried, but guess what? In three days, that's what happened. The butler went back to his job and the baker wasn't anymore. And when the butler was back in Pharaoh's house, he was serving Pharaoh, but guess what happened? He forgot all about Joseph and what God did for him. But God had a plan for Joseph and God still has a plan for Joseph. We're gonna find out more about what happened, but God gave Joseph wisdom and even while he was in prison, he had a good attitude and he was doing what was right. And he helped these two men interpret or find out what their dreams mean because God gave him wisdom. We're gonna find out what happens next. So get ready because there are more exciting things to come. I'm here with my dad today for this special father's edition of our Sunday school. And I thought it would be fun just to ask him a few questions so you guys can get to know my dad, who I love so much. Um, so the first question I'm going to ask is, Dad, when did you get saved? Well, that's a wonderful question. That was the most important event of my whole life. And when I was five years old, I had a Sunday school teacher who prayed with me in Sunday school, but later on I realized that I did not understand what it was that I had done. And so when I was eight years old, my mother uh, took the Bible and showed me from God's word how that I could be saved. And I remember kneeling down next to her bed and praying and asking the Lord Jesus to come into my heart and forgive my sins and to save me so that I could go to heaven to be with him forever. And that's a decision that I have never regretted and I never will. And I hope that every one of you makes that very same decision as soon as you understand. The second question I have today for my dad is what is your favorite thing about our Heavenly Father? Our favorite thing about, my, or my favorite thing about our Heavenly Father is that He loves me unconditionally and He calls me to talk to him about just anything that is on my heart at any time. And I know that he's always there and he's always listening. It's amazing to me that he knows everything that I've ever thought, everything that I've ever said, and everything that I've ever done, and he loves me anyway. The next question I have for you, Dad, is what is your favorite thing about being a dad? My favorite thing about being a dad is watching my children grow in the Lord and begin to come to understand all that Jesus has done for them and see what he is becoming to me in each of their lives. It thrills my heart as they begin to, to love Jesus for themselves and to have a desire to walk with him. And to think that I get to have a small part and helping them to do that. It's just an awesome thing for me. And besides all that, I just love my kids to death. I'd do anything in the world for them. I would lay down my life for them. Uh, they are just the sunshine in my life and I thank God for each and every one of my six children. The next question I have is, what is your favorite thing to do with your kids? Well, I have a lot of favorite things to do with my kids. We like to sit at the dinner table and talk about silly things. And that's a lot of fun. And sometimes they ask me to tell them stories from my childhood. And I always have a good silly story to tell them. And uh, we, we just enjoy being together. It doesn't matter what it is. There's always laughter involved. And uh, I love traveling with them. I love just going on a road trip or just sitting up having a cup of coffee and chit-chatting, whatever it is, if they're in the equation, I'm loving it. The last question I have for you, Dad, is who's your favorite Bible character and why? You know, my favorite Bible character is probably the Apostle Paul. I have so many uh, that I really admire, but uh, I think my favorite Old Testament character would be Jonathan. He was a true friend who laid down his life for for David's sake, and uh, and I think that uh, he was in every way one of the finest men uh, that ever walked the planet. 
and a wonderful example of a loving friend. I think in the New Testament, my favorite Bible character is the Apostle Paul, who really was responsible for carrying the message of Jesus to every corner of the earth in the first century, to those that were not Jewish, and he suffered mightily for Jesus' sake, and yet uh, he served with honor and with the joy of the Lord. Oh, God, I just want to say thank you so much for being on this Sunday School with me. It was a lot of fun to get to hear from you. And I hope everybody enjoys this lesson time. And it was a lot of fun to be able to be here with my dad. He's my baby. I love you. Our verse this week is Proverbs 2, verse 6. It says, For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Let's try it together. Ready? Proverbs 2, verse 6. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. That is a great verse because God really is the one who gives wisdom. And wisdom is knowing what to do, when to do it, and doing it. And God can give you wisdom too, even though you're just a kid. So why don't you pray for God's wisdom this week that he would help you know what to do and when to do it and that you would do it because that's wisdom. And knowledge and understanding is also what he gave to Joseph when he was in the prison because he helped them understand what the baker and the butler's dreams were. Let's pray right now to close our lesson time. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for these boys and girls. I thank you that you are the source of all wisdom and good things. Lord, I pray that you would give wisdom to the boys and girls this week and that they would know what to do and when to do it and that they would do it. Please help them to obey their mom and dad and that they would learn to love you, Lord, every day. I pray that they would know that we love them and that you love them even more than we do. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a great week.